Hey Taurus, what's up? Happy September. Um, so we're going to get into your reading this month. The format's going to be the same as last month. So if you are unsure, definitely check out the last one. Um, just remember that energies are fluid as is time. So this may happen in the future. It may have already happened. We don't know yet. Anyway, um, I'm going to get into it for you. And uh, we've got your oracle cards out. All right. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> we're gonna see what's up though i don't know yet whenever i see these two cards together i'm like ah shit okay Taurus, let's get it right so your main thing that you're going to be working on this month is going to be in this huge tarot card so i'm gonna pull it out in a second hopefully that um, knocking noise doesn't bother you too much how are you doing anyway This month, Six of Pentacles is going to be the theme for you. So it could be what you put your time towards and your energy towards. Could be what you invest in, whether it be literally or figuratively. Whoa. I just got the thought, and I never think about this with this card, but for some reason I'm really into this, like, scale right here. Just, like, Libra style, scales of justice. Um, it might be that you're investing in another place because the jury is still out on the other option. Ooh, that felt very, ooh, ooh, shit. That's spicy. I don't know what that's about. It could be business, it could be friends, it could be special friends. Uh, okay, whoa. Oh, I had one get major air. Oh. Devil versus the two of wands. I don't normally take this literally. If it's a relationship, you might it might be one of those like hot, heavy, passionate ass, like ah, ridiculous ass relationships. Or one that's like chill and placid and you're like, I don't know. If you decide in between two stressful situations, then shit, good luck. I don't know. I ain't got them problems and I'm happy. So, um, your first oracle card is to be fair. And I think it's funny, to be fair, right? And then I was just talking about the scales of justice and where you're going to invest. Oh, man. Let's see. You might have everything to make you happy. Now you're figuring out what to do. And like, <sighs> I almost feel like awaiting instructions. Not awaiting instructions, but it's like the magician's like, boom, I got everything I need. I'm doing what I do. Like, I'm making shit. It's great. And then these eight of wands. So these eight of wands could be in the, and you start off with the ten of pentacles, right? So because you have the ten of pentacles, it's pretty much just like you have all your materials, you have everything you need, and now you're just getting it in and doing the stuff you wanted to do. So let's say maybe you wanted to start a business, you finally got the funding to start the business, and so now you're doing everything, you're making your moves, but basically you're sending your wands out. So maybe if in the past you couldn't communicate to someone, you're doing that now. Ooh, this could also be if you were in a, in a situation and that ended, you could be sending the wands out and they really like with the page of cups. So you could be trying to trying to make those kinds of special friends. Oh shit, you could be playing the field. So, you know, I said before you figure out how you're gonna invest in stuff, like the ten of pentacles. Let's say you broke something off and now you're just trying to get out here. I mean, it's kind of a weird ass time to want to socialize, because I mean But besides all that, um, <laughs> you know, if you are out here trying to socialize or if you are out here trying to like you know, just do something new because you got out of something long standing. That's there's nothing wrong with that. Or if you're just socializing, making more friends, maybe you were trapped in like a, a living situation that was bad, or a family situation, or just like a friends group that was real suffocating. You probably don't have to deal with that anymore. Yeah, time to go. Yeah. The other thing could be is that like let's say you were waiting to leave a situation. 
it was stressing you out and it was maybe causing you to just like kind of withhold things about yourself. Um, and that's kind of over, but with the world card, I feel like over in a new beginning, it could also be that like maybe there is because you were so stressed out about shit all the time, or maybe you're always kind of concerned about like. When you're constantly in a stressful situation or if you're constantly worried about like what other people think or if you're trying to um like not step on their little landmines of emotion, it'll stress you out. It'll cause you to like kind of withhold yourself. And I think it's like kind of like a lack of investment. You're just like, yo, like there's no stability here. Like, so if it's like a job, it's just like, damn, like I'm not purchasing stock options because this place is going downhill. Or, but it's kind of like the same vibe with the person. It's just like, damn, like these people really aren't my friends because it's always this. You're always worried about like what's going to happen if you do something, which is like weird as hell. Like you should never have to worry about that. Being concerned is not the weird thing. It's the fact that you're in the situation where you have to create this defense mechanism where you're trying to anticipate something that's going on. Like that's only for emergency situations, not friends groups. Woo. Anyway, there's going to be an end to that, but I feel like it's kind of like a twist of fate about it. But let me see. Basically, once you leave that situation, things are going to be on the up. Maybe your Aries friend is going to come through and tell them to fuck off. Ooh, wow. Because <laughs> I, got, I got the Emperor and the Queen of Swords, and I just get that, like, that's the cuss out. But it could be that, like, yeah, maybe something happens, you go off. but all, Or it could be that something happens, you feel more empowered, and you're like, fuck it, I'm going to just make these cuts. But you might finesse it, though. It might not even make, maybe you'll be a little deceptive about how you leave the situation because it's got to be like that. But I think it's like, you know, it is time to dip out, get away, gone, be gone, stay gone. Oh, no. Yeah. Dang. Stay gone, shit. I did all that shuffling just to get the world card again. It's destined that you had to go through this situation, but it was not destined that you had to stay there. I think you kind of realized that. You were like, I'm out of here. Bye. That is so goofy. I'm sorry I'm being so silly like that, but you know, sometimes it's like last day of school vibes. So maybe you were just like, you know what? Mm -hmm. And you did your little plan. Ooh, so maybe at the beginning of September, you're like, I oh, don't know. And then you start sending the wands out. <laughs> and then by the end of the month, you're like, bye-bye. And then you get out of there. And that's the time to go card. <laughs> wow, that's very... Hopefully, you're not as rude and immature as I am with how I relate that to you. But damn, the world card just keeps coming out. And then the justice card. And then the magician. Hell yeah. It's almost like you were like, yo, once this last thing that's supposed to happen happens, I'm out of here. And peep it, wearing a very similar robe. So, yeah, you gonna smoke bomb your way up out of here. It's not like you. It's not like you, Taurus. You don't do that. I mean, y'all do. But it's like, y'all are real. Like, okay. With the time to go car, she's just like, <sighs> and like, wistfully running. Like, dee -dee 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 -dee. she's running off. It's not all loud and shit. You don't see flames or nothing. You don't see her knocking down the building on the way out. That's why I'm just like, yo, like, this is a very calm way of Taurus leaving a situation gracefully. Not to say that you're not graceful, but it's like, dang, you're just like, it's fine. It is what it is. It is what it is. Very mature of you. Hmm. I guess that's what happens when your life is going really, really well. And you're just like, you know what? I'm going to just leave. You can keep all of this um, silverware. I, I'm buying new silverware where I'm going. Or something like that. That's that's what I feel. I don't know why I had to shuffle them cards like that. Let me see what's up with this, um, this other Oracle deck. You're another one. You got a short one. But it could be that you were like... I almost feel like you had this shit planned. I don't know. I don't know. Leaving situations that no longer serve you, but like in the dust though. You were like, nah, I ain't even gotta cuss them out. <laughs> I don't even have to cuss them out. No, it's not that serious. I wish them well. So, ooh, ooh. 
It's like that Christian, God bless you. Just, no, does not mean bless you. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Okay. If you are leaving a home situation, you're going to be really happy to leave this situation. So it could be home. It could just be something that affects you at home. The balance card. This also makes think of the magician, but also like justice. Um, it's almost like, okay. And then we got the transformation card. And it's so funny. This is 14, but if you glance real quick, I was like, oh shit, it's like a lot of the same common numbers. Okay. Number one, if you're moving on from a situation that like maybe in the past you would have been mad about how it ended, I think that you really are just like, yo, this is just yet another sign that this shit is over. Um, we got, whew. Disruption and temptation, right? Which is like basically the tower and the devil card and the foundations and achievements card. <laughs> so, and the, whatever this was, this whole situation may have been built on a really shitty foundation in the beginning. And that's why it just didn't work out before. And so I do get kind of like, let me just release this type of energy off of, um, that this side of the read but then over here with the um the three of cups where it's like rejoice and celebration balance and then transformation it's almost like if you were like living with someone or really deep into a situation and you had to kind of like isolate yourself from people or like the things you care about you're leaving that behind in order to go reunite with things that you're passionate about it could be other people but people are not things to be put on the shelf maybe you understand that um so it might not be that but it may just be to a different peace of mind and so that's why you're just like it is what it is it is what i ain't fighting for this shit no more um wow it is what it is so yeah i'm sorry it could <laughs> i'm so sorry um, it could also be a dream, but at the bottom too, the nine of pentacles. So again, it's like, you're better off, like, and not like better off without it. It's, that it's just like, damn, you learn from the experience. You solid. You done invested in yourself. You are solid. You got nine pentacles. You don't necessarily need an extra one to, to have 10 and you could find that damn extra pentacle anywhere. And with the, just cause I'm playfully shuffling. Okay. This situation could have been one that was just kind of like chilling, not really doing shit. And the truth is, is that you're past that. You want someone you can collaborate and work with. But like, like, I don't know. It was good for a season. Ooh. Yo, if this is a breakup, I'm sorry. If it's a job, like that's better than if you're dealing with a person. But Jesus, you know, Taurus, call with it. So there's your read for September. Good riddance, I guess. But also it sounds like you popping, so... Thanks for watching. Um, I'm glad you're doing well. Shit, you've been feeling yourself. I'm into it, Tori. You've been feeling yourself last month. I like it. Um, yeah, hit me up. Add me on things. Subscribe to things. Comment on things. Uh, but yeah, enjoy your month. I'll have more videos up. And take care. Have a good one, okay? Bye.